Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but you'd really be helping me out and where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so today we are talking men's skincare. I'm really interested in men's skincare. I am an absolute advocate for keeping your skin moisturized, hydrated, for looking after if you're particularly quite sensitive after shaving, or if you're quite stressed out, or if you're quite run down, if you're not particularly well. Your skin shows all these signs of what's not quite right with you. Your skin can absolutely, I believe, tell you if you are healthy on the inside. And of course, if you're stressed or if you're going through a bit of a difficult time, our skin, particularly around our eye area and our face, really does kind of give you that overall kind of expression of how you are in life in general. I'm a, I'm a true believer of that. Now, I've gone through a lot in the last couple of months, and to be quite honest with you, my skin has changed. Its requirements, its needs has changed. And I do find that I am using different products. Some I'm getting uh, better experiences from others. But what we're looking at today is the L'Oreal Men's Expert Hydrate Power. This one here. Because what I'm finding is that I'm getting really quite dry sort of around the area of my jaw here. Particularly after shaving. Shaving at the moment, I'm going through a bit of a bit of an issue with everything being quite sore after shaving. Now, I've tried several different razors. I've tried several different uh, aftershaves and things like that but I'm still kind of not necessarily getting onto the top of it. So I thought I would try the Anti-Discomfort Daily Moisturiser. And I've been using this one for a little while, on and off for about the last fortnight, I would say. Um, a mixture of results. I like the product. I really, really do like the product. I like the brand L'Oreal Expert for men. There are some really great products um, to offer men's skincare here and you will be able to tell from my channel that I have reviewed creams for men uh, from this particular uh, family of products. So the anti-discomfort, let's try a little bit about it. So it's a Hydro Power Anti-Discomfort Daily Moisturiser. It's instant absorption and it's a 48 hour refreshing hydration of mountain water. Okay, it's enriched with peppermint extract, which helps reinforce skin's defense against daily aggressors. So that can mean weather, that can mean pollution. If you're in a room, now we're going into the fall season, and perhaps you started to turn the heating on. Hopefully you haven't, but if you're getting a bit cold, you may be sat in a room of central heating. You may still have air conditioning, and you may be sat in front of a fan quite often. You may have... Uh, all sorts of issues. So if it's, for example, if you're out in the, all sorts of weathers, if you're in a job which is in all weathers, then you'll feel that daily aggressors will really attack your skin. I know for me, one of the big things I've already mentioned is shaving is a big thing for me. And I have quite sensitive skin under my neck area here too. Um, so that is a, that's an issue which I work on and I, which I like to explore different products and things for that, which I like to showcase on my channel. So here, now this is the one thing which we're going to go to shortly, but this is mountain water, infused with mountain water, which strengthens skin's protective barrier and helps prevent skin from drying out. That I'm not so sure on, not in terms of the product, but about mountain water, which we'll get to in just a moment. It's a daily moisturiser, so it's a hydrating moisturiser that is non-greasy and is quickly absorbed into the skin. What is it for? So it's Discover Hydro Power Daily Moisturiser designed to instantly rehydrate and fight dry, uncomfortable skin. What does it do? So it fights against the discomfort with two actions. So 48 hour deep hydration and comfort for the skin, and then it reinforces the skin's protective barrier to help prevent skin from drying out. Apply to clean skin on the face and neck area morning and night. Tested under dermato dermatologic <laughs> control. Okay, and it says for more expert advice, visit www.mensexpert.co.uk, which I haven't actually done. Okay, so you open the box. I'll open the box here, and we've got the cream here. So it's a pump action here. Okay, really quite nice, quite ergonomically, sort of really quite nice to use. Um, the only thing I don't necessarily like about packaging like this is when you get to the end, that's it, and it doesn't pump up anymore. You can't necessarily get in there to use the uh, the end residue in the product there, just to make sure that you've got absolutely every single drop. Of course, value for money and the aspect of looking after the environment, and of course, value for yourself, to be quite honest as well. Okay, I keep doing this because I've got hearing aids in. I've got a piece of hair which is hanging down. I've got longer hair now, and it's agitating my hearing aid. So I do apologise if I keep doing that. But it is nothing annoys me worse if I've got something hanging over my hearing aid. Okay, so <laughs> let's let's continue. So how do I find the product first of all? So I like the product. Would I buy the product again? I would. 
But I think to give you my fair opinion about it, I would. But if there were other products to try and other products which were available in on the range or on the shelf in the store, for example, which I really, really liked, then I probably would choose them over this. Now, I'll tell you the reason why. It's a daily moisturiser. Now, I have never, ever had problems growing up. I was absolutely blessed with not ever having any any issues with uh, acne or spots, whatever you want to call it, pimples. I never, ever had that. Me and my twin brother, we grew up, we never had a problem with that. We've always had really great, clear skin, which I know is an absolute blessing. But right from a very early age, we were taught within our family home by our parents, my grandmother, my nan, bless her heart, the importance of skincare and moisturising. So I think that I've always used moisturiser right from a very, very tiny child. We will always learn the importance of looking after our skin. So if we washed our face, then you would have that cycle where if you're washing your face, then you must put something back in it to look after the skincare of your face. Otherwise, you get dry skin, you get irritations, that type of thing. Growing up, sometimes I'd have quite dry skin. So, of course, I always used a moisturiser as well. Another reason. But even using moisturiser throughout my uh, childhood years, throughout my teenage years, never, ever, ever had spots or acne, whatever you want to call it. I've used this product. Now, I have had this before. Now, to me, you'd think that this would be hydro power. You'd think that this would be quite light. And I'm just going to show you. Now, you think that that is like a gel looking product, but it feels light. OK, it feels light and it goes to almost like water, it goes to almost like water. But what I find is that it doesn't instantly, it doesn't instantly absorb into the skin well it doesn't on mine now i've used it on my hands okay just to just to sort of give you a bit of a, a show here for it but now i've got a tv box next to me i wouldn't feel comfortable with picking that up i've just been to starbucks and yeah i would pick up a paper cup but i wouldn't pick up a tv remote which i'm trying to do just to show that i have got one here okay it's still greasy and i haven't used loads it's it's still there OK, so now in terms of your face. So for me, it lingers, which for men's men's skincare, for me, that's one thing that really does annoy me. If you're telling me that it's instantly absorbed into my skin, I need it to be. I need to go about my day. I haven't got the time. I've got all the time in the world to style my hair. I really, really love that. But skincare for me has to be quick. It has to be simple and it has to deliver. Now, this hangs about because it's still I wouldn't feel comfortable picking up like going on my laptop or anything like that at all using my phone because I can still feel that kind of residue, which for me, that lets it down straight away. The second thing which links me on quite nicely to this is that it did bring me out in a bit of a breakout here around one side of my uh, sort of my jawline here. Now, of course, that could be potentially from shaving, doing it incorrectly, could be through being a bit harsh with a razor, could be through the products which I've used for shaving. But however, I haven't changed anything there at all. The only thing I've changed is the razors which I've been using. The, the cream, since I've used the cream, my skin in this area only has become a little bit problematic and I've had a bit of a breakout here. Okay, so you can't necessarily see that, but you can perhaps see where it's healed up a little bit here, but it's lighting. And I always say with good lighting, it really does showcase your your face looking a lot more sort of uh, healthy, a lot more sort of you've got that zing about you. So you're healthy. So I always use a YouTube light for my filming. But of course, when we're talking about skincare, it needs to be honest. So I have got that here. And you can just see sort of like the remittance of the end bits here. But I've got a few here under the skin and I've never, ever experienced that even through growing up. I'm now 28. I don't want my skin to look like I'm a teenager. It's nice, of course, to look young and youthful, but with skincare, you want it to deliver. You don't want it to clog your pores. And I did find that it did do that for me a little bit here. So on that basis, by my hand, by the way, my hands are still a little bit greasy as well, which I really, really don't like. It does feel nice on the skin, but it doesn't instantly absorb. So therefore, I wouldn't use this first thing in the morning if I was going to a business meeting or anything like that. I wouldn't want my face shining away as if I've got some sort of makeup product on. Not a look I want at all. Um, of an evening, great. Does it moisturise the skin really, really nicely? Yes, it does. But it does kind of clog my pores a little bit as well here, particularly on the jawline here. Now, anywhere else why you would want to use a cream like this for discomfort would, of course, be if you've got dry, sensitive skin or if you've got like a rash from shaving, potentially. For me, does that deliver? Yes, it does. For what it says on the box and the packaging, not as much as what I would like, but it does soothe and it does look after my skin. But nothing more than any other type of cream in their range or any other type of cream which I've used before, which is a bit of a shame considering it's for discomfort, anti-discomfort. -dis 
The next thing I want to talk to you about as well is when it says mountain water. Now on the packaging it says uh, mountain water, instant absorption, and we've got here infuse of mountain water which strengthens skin protective barrier and helps prevent skin from drying out. Now to me, how do you determine mountain water? And I know that sounds strange, but do you actually go up a mountain and do you actually collect water? Sounds a little bit strange, doesn't it? How can you determine? I know that you have to have that confidence in what you buy, but mountain water to me just doesn't really sound right, doesn't really sit right with me. Is that just, let's be honest, it could be you've got a container of water, you've took it up the mountain. How do you know that it's come from the mountain? And I know you can say that with a lot of hair products, a lot of skin products, a lot of shaving products from men and women, but it doesn't really sit well with me. And I just think that perhaps there needs to be a little bit more clarity about that within the within the product. Because for me, if it's got mountain water, it, it certainly doesn't instantly absorb into the skin. Price-wise, if I paid two, three pounds for this, I would think that it would be absolutely brilliant. I could sort of bear this until it disappeared. But when you're paying £10 or just over £10, which I have done so from Boots here in the UK, uh, to me, that's a little bit more, a little bit more for how it's delivered to my skin. I like the product. I wouldn't say it's amazing. Would I buy it again? I'd have to think about it. But if there was others on offer, I would probably buy that first before I come back to this. But ultimately, it is a nice moisturiser. Now, a lot of people, um, and I've had this as well, when you use a moisturiser, which has these ingredients in, and peppermint oil, of course, especially, which I am told, enriched with peppermint extract, sorry, which helps reinforce skin's defences against daily aggressors. Now, for my face, that's absolutely fine, but I did find, if I got it too close to my eye area, it really did irritate my eye and it made my eyes water a little bit. So if you are doing that, just be really, really careful. And I do find that my hands are particularly quite dry. Now, it doesn't show that on screen, but around the knuckle area here, it's a little bit dry. I'm quite sort of obsessive when it comes to hand washing, particularly, of course, we're all going through this uh, the COVID pandemic and the remittance of what we're all going through. So we're using a lot more uh, antibacterial products. And we're using a lot more alcohol hand gel for going into a town, into possibly a city centre, a store, a supermarket, what have you. So we're using that lots. So for me, OK, it does sting my hands a little bit and my eye area. So potentially just approach with caution. For, for something which says anti-discomfort, not sure on that. I know it sounds as I'm being terribly negative about the product, but it has to be all about honesty, doesn't it? When you're reviewing a product, which I love doing, skincare, hair care, whatever you want to call it, I really, really enjoy that. If I find a product which I absolutely love, then I will hold my hands up and scream about it, or shout about it rather. If I find a product which I'm not so sure on, or even worse, that I absolutely don't like, then I will tell you about it because it's all about honesty and I'm all about integrity. Okay, so I would probably give this one a five, a five out of ten on that one. I don't really score products, I have to admit, but about a five out of ten. So hydropower, okay, mountain water, what's that all about? Okay, so I really hope you've enjoyed this clip. I certainly have. Thank you very much for your company. And if you do have any questions or anything at all for me, please leave, leave, please leave them down below and I'll do my best to come back to you as quickly as possible. Okay, thank you very much. And until next time, we'll see you then. Bye for now.